What's the most horrible thing you have done as a kid, without realizing how bad it was until you grew up? Another incident, when I was about 11. All the girls in my school were starting to wear thong underwear. Mum refused to buy me any, understandably. But, not to be deterred. My friend and I shoplifted a pair each from Tammy Girl, RIP. Mine were an especially heinous. Mesh. Union Jack sporting string pair that definitely didn't belong in a teen girl's clothing shop. Fast forward a few days. And I have triumphantly worn the pants in question to school, on payday. For maximum effect. But now I have a dilemma, I need to wash the pants. But I do not do the laundry, or know how to, my mum always did it. Ever me had the genius idea to hide the pants in something else. So that they would be washed. And then retrieve them after the fact. So. I went to the laundry hamper and stuffed them in the pocket of a pair of jeans. Problem solved. to that night my parents were upstairs for a long time. Shut in their room. Eventually my mum comes downstairs. Test reeks and obviously really upset. And asks me if somehow this horrible pair of stripper pants belonged to me. I did fortunately admit to my crimes. Unfortunately my mum had already accused everyone from the secretary to the cleaners. TLDR. Stole stripper pants. Hid them in the back pocket of my dad's jeans. Almost broke up my parents. Smacked the head of a classmate with a bag full of marbles as we were playing. Younger me had absolutely no concept of weight or force. My mother was livid and had to apologize profusely to the other guy's parents. It was just a bag of marbles I remember saying that as if this whole ordeal was blown out of proportion. Took some self experimentation later on to realize how dumb I was. When I was about 5 or 6. My dad's boss came to stay the weekend at our house. They were salesmen and would travel a lot internationally. And had just come back from a trip. Boss bought me a huge teddy bear. It was very sweet. On the Saturday morning. I was in our bathroom and found what I now know to be a lens container for contact lenses. I hadn't seen contacts before and was fascinated with how transparent they were. I devised a fun game for myself. In which I would close my eyes and throw them on the floor. Then try to find them. This was too easy in our bathroom. So I decided to up the stakes. And threw them out of the window. They were monthlies. And my dad's boss had to end his stay early to go to his optometrist, a 3 hour drive, and get new ones. In a poorly thought out attempt to frame my sister. I carved her name into my mom's car door with a rock. The thing is that my sister was a baby who couldn't write. A fun mix of stupid and horrible. When I was around 8 years old. I went to a friend's house the first time and asked if he was poor when I saw the inside of his house. I realized about a year later when I randomly thought about it that it was a horrible thing to ask someone. Maybe not the worst thing I did. But definitely a bad one that comes to mind. 13 years later. I still cringe at that memory. Me and another child in elementary school played Sonic Fighters, an arcade game, on the playground and I gave him a powerful headbutt. Just like one character in the game used to do. Look holding his head with both of my hands and smashing mine into him with all my power. His mother had to pick him up and I had a headache for a few hours. He came back the next day. But man. That could have gone much worse for us. I told my friends and their moms that I had diabetes. Which made them very nervous to have me over for meals. I was really into the babysitters club books at the time. And Stacy Magell was my idol. And she had diabetes. I'm not sure why I picked that aspect of the character to adopt as my own. My second grade brain thought diabetes would make me very interesting and earn me some attention and sympathy. I got a stern lecture from my mom when she found out. But it wasn't until several years later that I understood how awful it is to lie about having a serious illness. I've told this story before on Reddit. But here we go again. I was a fat kid with athletic siblings. So I was dragged to a lot of soccer, baseball, softball games, etc. I was probably 11 or 12. And way too impulsive for my own good. When we were at my sister's indoor soccer game. She was on a competitive travel team. 
they were playing a pretty solid and aggressive team. At one point towards the end of the game, thank god. So I only had to sit in shame for a short while. A girl on the other team slide tackled someone on my sister's team. In doing so, her wig fell off. Revealing a bald head. Did 11 year old me know that cancer can lead to a kid's hair falling out? Did I know that there were other conditions that could cause baldness in young? Otherwise healthy girls? Yes and yes. Was that what came to my mind? Of course not. Mbus me shouts out. Holy crap. They have a boy on their team even the ref stopped running and just looked. Muffa gape. Towards me. I've told this story before. But I still feel bad about it so. My friend and I ding dong ditched this old woman. Except we didn't ditch. We just stood there. And then when she opened the front door I threw a dead bird at her. When I was like 5 I discovered that you can draw on people's cars with a nail and thought it was fun to see the paint scrape off.